It's extremely early on a Sunday morning. I'm in Port Melbourne, just checking everything's secure. Got to kick the tyre. I don't actually know if it does anything, but you do that before you go on a long trip. I'm heading to South Australia and we're going to the border today, about 657 kilometres. Should be a nice Sunday drive. But when we get there, the fishing will be exceptional. As you know, I travel all over this great country and sometimes other countries in search of amazing fish. And I've got this beautiful custom built Staby craft set up exactly the way I like it with all the gear that I love. And it really irks me when I have to get in an aeroplane and leave it behind. So this time, I've hooked it up on the back of the Jeep. I'm doing some serious kilometres. We're gonna meet up with some wonderful characters along the way. And on this trip, we're fishing out of my boat and I'm fairly excited about it. Now when I was planning this road trip I spoke to the locals over in Tumby Bay and said I'd really like a 1 kilo plus King George Whiting, maybe even a 30 kilo Samson fish or a 25 pound snapper. They said, Paul, sorry mate, but those fish are rare as rock and horse poo. So I made a slight deviation on the tour. And as you can see, I've got the product I need. Here comes the fish. Where's Daddy? There he is. G'day mate, how are you going? Excellent, how are you? Not too bad. Mate, I need some bits and pieces. Let's go do it. I'm just an absolute sucker for tackle stores. I can't help myself. I've got my own and I still forgot a few things. So luckily, I'm with Kim Sykes from Tackle World Salisbury. Kim, I need some leader, mate. Great, we've got the good stuff for you. Yeah, I'll leave you going over to try and find some tuna and some snapper. Well, tuna, snapper, whiting, basically anywhere there's a fish I'm going to find it and okay. I just, uh, I need some help. Okay, we've got uh, Instinct Plus, it's this fantastic new leader out. Yep. Um, 50 pound, 80 pound should pretty much cover you if you want to fish uh, a little lighter and a little more finesse with the soft plastics. I'd probably go to the Nitlon fluorocarbon. Well, let's um, go 50, 60 and 80. 80, yep, and that should some, get you covered. Uh, plastics? Yep, plastics I'd probably go 20 or 25 in the Nitlon. Uh, knit on fluorocarbon. Yep. Um, there's just no better on the market. Sensational, mate. Yep. I think I need some hooks too. Okay. Let's go. Which ones, Kim? I reckon if we go some 5 0 instincts. Yep. Some 4 0 owners. Yep. We've got these Forge long shank. Sensational. I reckon we're going to catch a fish the way we are. Hope so. It is very, very rare that I come to South Australia and don't catch up with Shane Mensforth. How are you, mate? Good to see you. Fantastic. What a coincidence. You're on the CSA ferry when I'm here. It is a bit of a coincidence. And this ferry service, mate, just chops everything out of the drive. Two hours across and sitting all, going all the way around and uh, get out the other end. Are you there? I was very excited. I looked at the GPS in the Jeep and you've got two big golfs. You've got St Vincent's Golf. And Spencer Golf. Spencer Golf. And this basically goes straight across Spencer's Golf and puts yeah. us near Port Lincoln somewhere. Yeah, it puts us at Lucky Bay and it's about an hour and a half drive down. Easterly wind here. It's going to be dead calm all the way across, I'd say. Excellent. Easterly is not so good for the for the uh, shore that we'll be staying on. but. Yep. But uh, Air Peninsula is a big place and there are a lot of alternatives. doesn't matter which way the wind blows, there's always somewhere to fish. So Excellent. It's a good thing about it. And we have a saying at home, when the wind's in the east, the fish bite least. Mm, that applies pretty much here too. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, our road trip has now turned to a sea trip and I'm on the bridge of Sea Spirit 1 and this is Captain Jack. How are you going, Paul? I'm just fantastic now. I normally drive boats. I don't drive ships, and I don't mean to tell you how to suck eggs, mate, but you've got to hold the steering wheel. Where is it? That's a very good question. Where's the wheel, Jack? Yeah, we don't have one anymore, as you probably know. Um, all automated. We do actually have a little joystick down there that we can manually park the boat with, but we just run on the GPS hooked into the autopilot. It takes care of wind, current, set and drift, 
and that uh, works every time, every day. So that helps, that helps us avoid some of those big ships we saw earlier? No, you do have to look out the window and uh, we have to give those guys the right away. They're a bit bigger than us, obviously. And when you say bigger, just before you were saying some of those ships are mammoth, how big are they? Um, the one we just passed back there, that's seven hatches, that would be 170,000 tonnes laden. And the big, bigger ships that carry the iron ore and the coal ships further north, they go up to 190,000 tonnes, sometimes up to 200,000, drawing about 17 metres of water. So 200,000 tonne of ship and cargo, mm. and there's 18 metres of ship below the 17, water. 17, 18 metres of ship on the big ones, yeah. That's unbelievable. If they get in our way, mate, I can fix them. I'll, I'll launch yeah. the missile. That's the actual uh, ejector seat button for the seat you're sitting in right now. Oh, well, we, we won't mess with that then. <laughs> Captain Jack, take us across the gulf. we Will do, we're on our way. Shane, when I said road trip, I didn't mean road all over my boat. 14 k's of dirt, you stop whinging, you wash it off, and you go and catch a fish. Well, I've done the washing. We're at Coffin Bay. What a gorgeous place. Where are we heading today? The most beautiful place in South Australia. We're heading down the bay, which is about 20 k's to the open ocean. We'll make a left turn, and we'll head out to Greenlee Island in the Southern Ocean. Now, there's a lot of big fish out there, isn't there? A lot of big water, a lot of big fish, and uh, hopefully with this weather, we're going to go anywhere and catch anything. Well, there's only one thing left to do, mate. Cross, 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 <laughs> less hope for good, good weather. weather. <laughs> and big fish. Well, Men's Forth and I are about to embark upon an epic journey. We're heading out 100 kilometres from Coffin Bay boat ramp into the Southern Ocean. Dave Clayfield from Why Not Fishing Chart has met us there this morning and he's given us his secret mark. Now, I don't know where it is. Men's Forth doesn't know where it is, but Milo Rand's GPS now does. So thank you, Dave. Let's hope we have some sensational fish in action. Catching live bait can be one of the toughest things and be very time consuming too. But in South Australia, I've come up with a real novel approach. Hey, boys, can you put some liveies in the net for me? That's the way to get live bait. So without ever having been to this spot before, I punched Dave's GPS marks into my Lawrence plotter. You can see we've come out of Coffin Bay, or we're heading up through Coffin Bay. We come out to the open ocean and then we go straight to the spot. X marks the spot and it's potentially one of the best fishing grounds, the most rich fish grounds in all of South Australia. Thank you Dave Clayfield of Why Not Fishing Charters. Should we go fishing? Why not? We're just about to round Point Sir Isaac, which marks the outer boundary of Coffin Bay. And there we do a left turn into the Southern Ocean. Next land mass is Antarctica, we're not going there. We find a lump, we stack with fish, it's going to be bent rods and sore backs for the rest of the day. Our round trip today is just on 200 kilometres, 100 kilometres out, then 100 kilometres back in. So I just called Riley at BRP in New South Wales and said what sort of fuel economy can I expect from the 115s? He did the math based on my 659 Stavey craft, four people on board, and told me that I should use around 0.7 of a litre per mile. Based on that, we've got enough fuel to get out, get back, and we should have about six in reserve. If you're heading offshore, fuel is so crucial. Don't go too far without it, because if you run out, you're in big trouble. E-Techs are good, but even they can't perform without juice in them. Well, Shane, almost halfway to our destination in the famous Greenlee Island. The home for the biggest kingfish in Australia. Yep. And uh, also a great overnight anchorage, used by the cray fishermen, by commercial boats. Brilliant place. Now I fished Greenlee, caught some beautiful southern bluefin tuna. Oh, it's tuna most of the year. And I have to say, we've driven past about 400 tuna schools, but today we've got one thing on our mind, haven't we, mate? We have. We've got Samson fish on our mind, so we've got to just not be distracted by the tuna. Head further west. Well, I just checked the GPS, 42 kilometres to go to the hump, and it's time to go, mate. Let's do it. Yeah. 